Hello students, this is Alicia, your mathematics teacher and we are going to continue with the part 2 of our chapter measures of time. So now we have earlier, uh, in the earlier video we have seen different uh, topics we have covered that are full, uh, full hour time or o'clock, quarter past, quarter two and half past. So now in this video we are going to study in depth of the clock. So now here on the picture you can see this is a clock and if you have noticed you can check on the clock that you all have at home you all can see that there are five four lines here in between these small lines that I'm talking about you can see here I'm pointing towards it these are the small lines that you will be also be seeing on your clock okay so this is per minute time or per minute lines that are given to us so like this we have 60 minutes from starting from 1 to 59 and 60 so there are total 60 minutes so when the minute hand starts from here and when it completes the whole round and when it comes here to 60 that is pointing towards 12 that is when it is full hours time or it is o'clock so you have studied an o'clock that the hand or the minute hand has to be on 12. So that is why it is said that when it completes the whole round 60 minutes, that is when it face points at 12 and that is when it is full hours or o'clock. So that is how 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So to complete from one number to the another, it takes one hour and one hour is also known as 60 minutes. Now, the yellow part that you can see this side is past and the blue part that you can see is two. So, left half of the clock says number of minutes to the next hour, that means this left part, the blue part, it says the number of minutes remaining for next hour. And the right half, that is this yellow part, it says number of minutes past the hour. That means after hour, how many number of minutes has passed. So remember, the left part is 2 and the yellow part is past. So we have studied that 12 when the minute hour, minute uh, hand points 12, it is o'clock. When the minute hand points 1, it is 5 minutes past. Same way when it points 2, 10 minutes past. When it points 3, quarter past or 15 minutes. 4, 20 minutes past. 5, 25 minutes past. 6, half past or 30 minutes past. 7, 25 minutes to now from 7 here it starts with 2 not past so 25 minutes 2 8 20 minutes 2 9 quarter 2 or 45 also you can say 10 10 minutes 2 and 11 5 minutes 2 and then again when it comes to 12 it is o'clock now this we will understand when we look at the clock actually that time you all will be understanding and you all will be able to figure out that why we say to and past. Now the first one you can see here the minute hand is facing towards 2 our hand is facing towards 4 so the time is 10 minutes past 4 now if you see when the minute hand is here 2, we have written here 10 minutes past. So in the same way here we have said 10 minutes past and the next number will be the point where the R hand is facing. The R hand is facing towards 4. So therefore 10 minutes past 4. Same way if you see here in the next picture you can see the R hand is here after little bit after 10 and the minute hand here is at 4 you can see the minute hand here is at 4 now if we see minute hand if it is at 4 it is 20 minutes past so therefore we will say 20 minutes past 10 why because the hour hand is near 10 
So therefore, it is 20 minutes past 10. Next one here is our hand is facing 2 and minute hand is facing 11. So let's see for 11 we have seen here first of all it comes in the 2 portion and it is 5 minutes 2. So 5 minutes to 2. So this is 5 minutes to 2 o'clock. So to, be, to become 2 o'clock, that is to, this hand to come at 12, there are 5 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So therefore there are, this is 1 minute each. So therefore 5 minutes are left for 2 o'clock. So therefore we say 5 minutes to 2. And in the, here in this figure we can see minute hand is at 7 and the shorter one is little bit after 7. So what we will say here for 7 it is see 25 minutes to so your 25 minutes to 8. So whenever you say 2 you have to take the next number whereas whenever you say past you have to take the number on which the R hand is. And for 2 you have to take the next number so your 25 minutes to 2. Now let's do the exercise 9a. When the minute hand moves from 12 to 3, it covers dash minutes. So let's see the minute hand moves from 12 from here, from 12. Both these hands are minute hands I have shown for your example. So when this minute hand moves from your 12 to your 3, it covers how many minutes? So as I said, these are per minute. So if you see from 1, if you count, it comes to 15. From 12 to 3 it comes to 15 so therefore when the minute hand moves from 12 to 3 it covers 15 minutes so this are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 when it is come to 15 it is come to 3 and the question is from 12 to 3 that means from 12 to 3 so therefore the answer is 15 minutes at 3.30, the minute hand is on 6 and the R hand is between dash and dash. So at 3.30, the minute hand is at 6. We have understood that 3.30 is also known as half past 3 when it is at 6. So when the minute hand is at 6 and it is 3.30, so always remember the R hand is going to be between 3 and 4. That is it is it is already past 3 o'clock so therefore it is after 3 but before 4 because it is yet to be 4 o'clock when this hand will reach 12 that time it will be 4 o'clock so before 4 o'clock it is 3 30 or you can also say half past 3 so therefore the hand will be between 3 and 4 the R hand this is the blue one a quarter past 9 is also read as now quarter past 9 is what our hand will be at 9 and quarter past means what I said it is going to be facing 3 for quarter past. So it is also known as 9.15. Why? Because the minutes is 15 and the hour is 9. So you can also say 9. 9 that is hour and 15 is minutes. So from your to your it is 15 minutes. So 9.15. 5.45 is same as 5.45. Now 5.45 firstly the hour hand will be at 5. And the minute hand will be at 45, that is at 9. So, 5.45 is same as. Now, same as means what? It is going to be, which time it is going to be now? It is going to be 6 o'clock. Why? Because this R hand will come at 6. And this orange, that is the minute hand, will go to 12. So, it is going to be 6 o'clock. So, before 6, how many minutes are there? 15 minutes. So, it is also known as, 15 is also known as quarter. So, it is also known as quarter to 6. Why? Because there are quarter minutes remaining for 6 o'clock. When it is quarter to an hour, the minute hand has covered dash minutes. Now, when it is quarter to an hour, the minute hand has covered how many minutes? Now, when it is quarter to an hour. Now, let's take an example. When it is uh, let's take an example of 9 hours, 9 o'clock. So when it is quarter to an hour, it takes, how many minutes does this make? 
from 1 to 45. So therefore, when it is quarter to an hour, that means if there is a quarter minutes remaining to make an hour, it covers 45 minutes. When the minute hand moves from 12 to 6, it covers dash minutes. From the minute hand moves from 12 to 6, year, from this part. So when it moves from year to year, it takes 30 minutes. Why? Because year minutes you can count, it takes 1 to 30. So it takes 30 minutes. When the minute hand is on 3 and the hour hand points to a little past 7, the time is read as 7.15 or. So they are saying when the minute hand is at 3, this is a minute hand at 3, and the hour hand points a little past 7, that means a little past 7, I have put it here, the time is read as 7.15. So 7.15 or it is also known as quarter past 7. That means it was already 7 o'clock and it is also covered 15 minutes after 7 o'clock. It has covered quarter. So therefore, quarter past 7. Next is read the time. Now here we have to read the time. So the first one here is if you can see the hour hand is between 2 and 3 and the minute hand is at 7. So when the minute hand is at 7, we say 2 that is already passed. 35 that is 7 if you see if you count these small lines on 7 it is 35 minutes so 235 or you can say 25 minutes to 3 that means to be 3 o'clock there are more 25 minutes this part so you call it 235 or 25 minutes to 3 next one you can see here on the clock the hour hand is at 5 and the minute hand is at 10. So when the hour hand is at 5, you say 440, that means the earlier number 4 and 40, sorry 450. If you count the minutes from year till year, it makes 50. So 450 or you can also call it at 10 minutes to 5. That means to be 5 o'clock, there are still 10 minutes, this part. So to 5 o'clock, there are still 10 minutes. Next is the number is between the hour hand is between 1 and 2 it is almost reaching 2 and the minute hand is at 9. So that means the first thing that we see is it is 145 that means it has already passed 1 and it has passed 45 minutes this part or you can also call it as quarter to 2. Why? Because there are quarter minutes remaining for 2 o'clock. So 145 or quarter to 2. And the next one is the hour hand is between 2 to 3. It is almost reaching 3 and the minute hand is at 10. So now here you can call it as 250. This part 250 or 10 minutes to 3. That means to be 3 o'clock there are still 10 minutes. So therefore 10 minutes to 3. Next one. The hour hand is between 8 and 9 and the minute hand is at 5. So therefore, it is going to be 8.25 or 25 minutes past 8. 25 minutes have passed 8. So therefore, 25 minutes past 8 or 8.25. Next one you can see is the hour hand is between 6 and 7 and the minute hand is at 4. So for 4, it has almost passed 20 minutes here. So the time is 6.20 or 20 minutes past 6. 20 minutes have passed 6, so you can write it either ways. Next is between 1 and 2 is the hour hand and the minute hand is at 3. So it is 1.15. This makes 15 minutes or you can also call it as quarter past one that means quarter minutes have passed after one o'clock and the next one is 11 and 12 the hour is almost slightly after 11 and the minute hand is at one so it is just five minutes from 11 o'clock if the minute hand would have been here at 12 then the time would have been 11 o'clock but the minute hand have moved five minutes after 12 so therefore the time is 11 5 or five minutes past 11 that means five minutes have passed 11. 
now here we have to draw the minute and the hour hand they have given us the time here we have to draw the minute and the hour hand so the first one on the clock the time given is 10 15 so always remember 10 is always going to be the hour hand so 10 is going to be facing here and the minute hand is going to be facing the 15 minutes so 15 comes at 3 always remember the first one is the hour and the next one is the minute so 15 you have to face it towards 3 because at 3 it becomes 15 minutes so 10 is the hour hand and 15 is at the minute hand next one is 1 and we also call it as quarter past 10 it has been quarter passing the 10 o'clock next one is 145 now again remember the first number is the hour so 1 the hour hand will be facing 1 and 45 now where is 45 at 9 so it is 145 the shorter hand will be facing towards 1 and the longer one will be facing towards 45 and we also call it as quarter to 2 why because there are quarter minutes for 2 o'clock so your homework sums for this question 3 is c to i you have to put minute and hour hand and you have to also write the time in quarter past or quarter to whatever it is thank you welcome